Welcome to your cooking with Chris. And on our panel is Linda. Hi! And Carla. And coming in is Linda. <laughs> oh, you're doing movie. You're cooking with Chris. Oh, no. Fresh fruit, delicious in the yurt. Well, I just love that Chris brings the fresh fruit along to the yurt because it's so good to have fresh fruit in the yurt. It's just so refreshing and a great start to the day. It gives me good energy for my ski. And you can bring any fruit you like. Any fruit? Yes, combinations are great. Ooh. There are certain combinations you might not even think of, but... Like what, what, Chris? Well, you know, <laughs> today we're having just plain oranges and grapefruit. Now, most people wouldn't think much of that, but in a nice presentation in these lovely bowls, what a fancy breakfast for the year. Okay, <laughs> Carla. Do we have anybody on the line? <laughs> Well, no, I don't think so, no? because the cell phones don't work up here. Yeah. That's one of the nice things about the yurt. However, if we did have a caller... <laughs> what would they be asking now, Linda? <laughs> I think it would be Joel from Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, you want to take that call, Linda? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> and I think Joel from Iowa would ask... Yeah. Um, how cold does it have to be before you actually decide not to ski between the yurts? Oh, oh well. Good question, Joel. Good question. We're contemplating that this morning already. It was 32 below at night. We're up to 18 below. So preferably we'd like to have it at least at zero to get out there today. We might be below zero starting out this morning, but we're here and it's going to get up to 7 degrees. So. Primo skiing is 10 to 15 of oh. Thanks for that question, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, tell us what you have to go along with that. Oh, well, now, you always want to just keep hydrating when you're going to be going out in the air. So, any type of fruit. But I've purchased, which work well in the cooler, our organic apple juice boxes. Yes, even those of us older than five can have a juice box. <laughs> we have grape and apple, any assortment. And then we'll also be having today, this is a quick breakfast because today is our long ski. So we'll have we'll be having an assortment of oatmeal for different flavors people can choose from. Now, one might think this is, again, a little go-to-school breakfast, but it's great energy, protein for the yurt, and carbohydrate. And then we'll have an assortment of bars we can eat, too. So there you have it. You've got your proteins, your carbohydrates, your vitamin Cs, you're hydrated, and we're ready to go out on the ski. Chris, you mentioned a long ski. Linda, would you like to comment as far as how long of a ski are you going on today? Well, today we do the ski from the Tall Pines here, where we're where we're filming this morning, at, at our studios here, um, to the Croft Yurt, and that ski is about 12 miles. Tomorrow we'll do what we call the short ski and ski out to the Gunflint Trail, where our car will be waiting for us, and that ski is about eight miles. However, the whole ski is about 22 miles, so clearly I'm adding, so I'm, I'm missing a mile or two here or there. So. <laughs> And you've skied this before? Uh, actually, uh, Chris and I have skied it quite a few years. I was trying to figure that out just last night while I was going to sleep. And um, I think this is our 17th year doing the year. So. Wow. And you'll be staying in a condo at your destination, or where will you be staying? No, we're going to be staying in another yurt, just like this one, except for it's out just out. We'll actually ski some through the Boundary Waters Wilderness area today. And um, and then just on the edge of, of the Wilderness area, there's another yurt like this one. And um, it's on Lake Bedeau, and uh, we'll stay there tonight. The wonderful folks from Boundary Country Trekking actually um, lease and maintain the yurts for us, and uh, so that's who we contact when we want to want to make arrangements to stay in the yurt and um, 
they will transport our gear into our sleeping bags and, and such, our sleeping gear and coolers and food into the other yurt for us from a snowmobile trail. Great. And do you want to share their contact information, their phone number? <laughs> 218-388-4487. That's right, it is 218-388-4487. And they are available on the web, too, aren't they? They are, they are, <laughs> at BoundaryCountry.com. So. But while we're at it, we should probably bring up that uh, uh, the Boundary Country Trekking has a great partnership with the Banadad Trail Association, because the trail that we ski on between the yurts is called the Banadad Trail. And, um, we have a trail association, which several of us here on the program this morning are members of. And um, the trail association was created to maintain and uh, maintain the trail into the future because it takes a lot of grooming and work. And in the summer, there's a lot of maintenance that's required to, to get the trail ready for the snow. So, so people should think about joining the trail association because your contributions go directly to the maintenance of the trail. Sounds like a great idea. And back to Chris. Oh, yes, and I would mention the Trail Association has a great newsletter where they've always, as a member, you'll be getting the newsletter telling you highlights of the trail, along with email updates on the conditions of the trail. So you need to know what it's like before you're coming up. Just go ahead. You'll, As a member, you'll be getting those, um, I think are they weekly? No, just when the conditions change. Yeah, updates on, on the trail itself. And there's also... The newsletter provides nice history of the trail, um, gives you people's experiences, highlighting them. Um, if we've heard any wolf on the trail this season, if we how the moose tracks are doing, um, kind of gives you an update of all that you'll see on the trail. Because it's not just us out here. There's <laughs> lots of mammals, other mammals. Well, that's a good point, Chris. <laughs> yeah? As a matter of fact, at the end of the season last year, some skiers not only were lucky enough to see a lynx, they got a fit picture of it. And so that was great fun. And that was not only up on our blog, but also even made the Cook County Herald newspaper. So. Oh. Oh, lots to do and lots to see on the trail. <laughs> yes. And now, we'll continue with our cooking and the great <laughs> cowboy coffee at the yurt. Cowboy coffee? And how... who's behind that? Oh, that's Linda's doing. <laughs> coffee and conversation with the cowboys. <laughs> I don't know why they call it cowboy coffee. Ted Young calls it cowboy coffee. Anyway, we just couldn't find the insides of the coffee pot one year. It's basically how this all evolved. And so you just throw a heck of a lot of coffee grounds in there and boil the dickens out of it. As long as it's good and strong, that's all we care. So. <laughs> well, I think our time is almost up this morning. Chris, do you have any closing comments? Well... <laughs> If only the camera operator would have figured <laughs> out how to <laughs> shut it doing? off. <laughs> no, happy trails. You can have happy trails out west, and you can have happy trails on the Banadad. And where's the best trail, Chris? The best trail? The Banadad. In Minnesota, in the BWCA. Fine. Some folks watching this video might wonder where that is if they're not from Minnesota. Yes, well, that's, we're basically in the upper northeast corner of Minnesota. In from Lake Superior, we drive up the beautiful North Shore, up from Duluth, see the lake, the waves, the ice up against the shoreline as we drive up. We come up to Grand Marais. At that point, you head up what's called the Gunflint Trail. You know, about 35 miles up the trail, we'll come to our turnoff four the Boundary Country Trekking and the yurts, and that'll get us into our start to the trip, where the yurts are located. Well, great. And it was great watching you make that. Can't wait to test your delicious breakfast there. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Linda, for sharing. Thank you. We've got to go now. Time for breakfast. <laughs> Happy trails. Bye. <laughs> Just turn it off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Here, let me take a picture of you. No. Oh, no. oh we got to stop. There's the camera person. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a
Oh, we're still filming. Careful what you say.